What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. So today we're gonna to be doing just a quick, short and sweet Q&A that I had put out on my Instagram, some questions that you guys had had. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been doing some more videos on the GTI that have been getting a lot of likes and I really, really appreciate a lot of views from you guys. Uh, it just goes to show that probably most of my audience is based around the GTI and because I started the channel with the GTI. But uh, like I said, went on my Instagram, posted a picture, said, hey, we're gonna do an update video. Um, ask me a question, let me know what you think. So if you guys aren't on my Instagram yet, make sure you check out my Instagram, medicmagic underscore, because apparently somebody had already had medicmagic underscore. And uh, watch me on there, you guys can send me messages. I'm usually really quick on getting back to people with messages and questions there. So let's start it off with Paint Bala. Says, Russ, are you running a low torque or high torque tune? So that is the stage two high torque Actually, I don't even know if, if they have different torque settings on stage two. I know stage one, you can get high or low. Um, I was not given an option with stage two, so I think stage two is, is just high. And if it's not, if it's high or low, I probably got the high one. He probably just gave me the high one. Uh, Horsepower Pizza said, favorite pizza place. Um, I'm going to say, I don't know if this is the right name of this place or not, Beto's in Green Tree, I think is where they cook the pizza, hot pizza uh, with cheese and then you put on cold toppings afterwards. Maybe, no, they put cold cheese on, mozzarella on top. Cold cheese, cold toppings on hot pizza, and it is so good. We need to go over there and do like a real review, sit down, like rig up some sweet camera stuff and make a really good pizza review for that, for your channel. So, all right, The Gun 101. How long are you planning on keeping her? Um, I'm guessing he means the GTI, and I've talked about this in a couple of my other videos. The GTI is basically like the perfect daily driver and I wanna keep it as long as I can. Um, or until it breaks down to the point where I can't or don't want to keep it anymore. I don't think I would trade it in for anything else right now other than a Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. GTI Kyle asks, what suspension are you running? So right now at this point, it's just the Eibach Sportline's uh, lowering springs, still stock struts. Uh, there are no wheel spacers on my wheels. I've been getting a couple questions about that. My old stock wheels, I had wheel spacers, but these new ones that are plus 32 offset are the perfect offset that sit flush with the, uh, the fender, so I don't have any more of that, any more wheel spacers. Um, Andrew Katsanos says, how do you like being a flight medic? Do you also pilot the heli? How is the pay in comparison to being a normal EMT medic? That's like three or four questions. All right, how do I like being a flight medic? Um, I love it, it's amazing, it's my dream job. I feel like when people say, oh, if you like what you do, you never have to work a day in your life, true. Uh, two, do I pilot the helicopter? No, not yet, I am not a pilot. Uh, our pilots are mostly all retired military guys that have 20 plus years of experience. The place that I work for has a really, really high uh, requirement for hours and seat time, stick time, whatever you wanna call it, um, to be able to get in, in a lot of different certifications, and I unfortunately am not one of those guys. Not yet, though. Um, how is the pay in compar comparison to being a normal EMT medic? Um, a lot better. Uh, I saw this question earlier. I looked it up online. I think one of what was it? Oh, one of the places I looked. The national average for a flight paramedic across the United States is eighty thousand dollars. So take that for what it is. Might be a little bit less than that. Might be a little bit more than that. Um, but it's a lot better than being just a ground medic. But there's a lot more certifications, a lot more time, effort, uh, dedication to being a flight paramedic versus being a regular paramedic. You're not just gonna walk in and be a flight paramedic. Um, it's a lot of extra work, which you're compensated for. Uh, and a lot more difficult patients and difficult situations, which you're compensated for. Uh, do you plan on doing another car meet? Uh, it's funny that I just was talking about that to Ben today. Uh, our new shop is almost completely done, uh, just doing some final tweaks on it. So probably the next car meet's gonna be sometime this spring, uh, kind of like how last year's was, uh, kind of like a kickoff meet. And then we're honestly planning on doing meets more regularly, because there's gonna be a lot more space and room to have more people. And basically on our own piece of property where we don't have to deal with neighbors and we can do uh, like burnouts and stuff like that if you want to. We'll, so we'll have to see what Ben says about that. <laughs> um, Medic Magic said video should be, oh no, that was me. Video should be up tomorrow. This was like, three days ago, so I'm sorry. All right, so that was actually on there, and then let me check my messages because I had put some stuff on my messages also. Uh, let's see. Lulu300Hayabusa says, 
Nope, that's not. No, he says, on your built F20C, does your car still have the stock tranny and differential? For now, it does. Uh, we'll see how much more thrashing and bashing it can take until we have to go back and change that. Uh, Lunar Eclipse Crew says, what has been one of your most life-altering experiences? Um, I thought about this earlier, and I honestly think that me being a flight paramedic is probably the biggest uh, for two different reasons. One, if you work hard, you can do anything. Seriously, if you put your head down and you want to be able to do something, you can accomplish it. Uh, if you're not 100% in it with your heart, you're not going to do it. So I realize that that's actually kind of true. Two is I feel that I have an unfair advantage of realizing what life and death is and dealing with those types of things in my normal life um, and just having a real grasp on how things can just fade away so fast. And people that know me know that I'm a really easygoing, uh, don't really care about much things, the little things uh, type of person. And I honestly think that's probably the biggest advantage that I have that I just don't care about the small things and nothing really gets me that upset. And if it does, it just rolls off my shoulder. Uh, let's see here. Jay, Jay King around? Wait, I'm probably, Jay, Jay King around. What lenses do you have for the Sony and which do you use for car photography? Good question. So I have the Sony a7 III, uh, which is basically a beginner full frame camera. Uh, I have the kit lens, which is a 24 to 70, I believe, f3.5 to f5.6. Uh, I'm shooting right now on the 50 millimeter 1.8 at 1.8 aperture. And that's why this stuff in the background is kind of blurry. Um, the 50 millimeters are prime, which means it's going to be a super sharp lens. There's not a lot of things inside of it moving around in different pieces of glass. Uh, so. For the photography, I, it depends what shot I'm using. If, if I'm okay with the 50, which has a longer focal length, I'll use that to get those, bl uh, bleh, those blurred out backgrounds. But if it's like an interior shot, or if I just have my kit lens with me, I'll throw that on. Future plans for lenses is my next one. I really want to get a wide angle, uh, like a 16 to 35 or 17 to 35. And I'm split because a brand new G Master is $2,300 for a 16 to 35, which my investment to return on investment, I don't know how well that's going to go right now. Or I could throw an adapter on it and get a Canon 17 to 40 for all of $300 and be good to go for under 500 bucks. But the autofocus doesn't work on it. Um, it would basically be me manning the camera behind it, autofocusing or manual, manually focusing, uh, which honestly isn't too bad because it has peaking. Um, I'm going to show you that here in a second. Peaking is insane. Uh, anyways, Oh, here's another one for you guys. This was just somebody asked me this earlier. Uh, 2011 Platinum WRX wants me to do a review on his uh, 2011 WRX. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that, if there's anything I could do differently. I was kind of thinking, talking back and forth with him, saying like, I don't, there's so many of those videos out already, like what's gonna be different that I could do about a WRX that's seven years old. But I'm down to try new things and I think it'd be cool he's from the area, make new friends. Uh, last question here, Grumble22. So this is, this is good. This is the guy that bought my old Subaru. So I sold it to a guy in Buffalo. The guy sold the, the Subaru to this new guy. And I was still on a Facebook group, a GCA uh, Facebook group. And I saw my car pop up and it said, hey, just got this new car. What do you guys think? Blah, blah, blah. It had the same stickers, same wheels, all this stuff. I'm thinking to myself, that's my car. So I messaged him, tell him it. He was so, so happy. Watched all the videos. Maybe not so happy about some of the videos. Cut back to us like snapping that bolt off in the header. <laughs> or like almost rolling it into the field. <laughs> but um, he asked me, would you ever be interested in buying the car back? And he is in the process of doing a full WRX swap on it and a kind of restoration of the car. And... I told him, if you ever plan on selling it, hit me up first, and if I'm in the right financial position and I could buy it back, I would love to have that car back. Because I regret every single day in the winter not having that thing to be able to rip around. And I can't believe, looking back now, that I didn't even keep it for one winter just to Ken Block around. And But on the side note, I used the money that I got from that as a down payment on the S2000, so the S2000 never would happen. So it's a toss-up. I'm sure he'll want like 10 grand for it after it's all said and done. But we'll see how much money I have by then. Um, but anyways, yeah, guys, that's about it. Those are all the questions. I thank everybody for hitting me up and asking those questions. Sorry, it was a couple of days late. 
Um, but if you guys like to give me a thumbs up, if you didn't give me a thumbs down, let me know what you think about this new uh, camera setup and this new video setup. We're doing a, a couple little tiny different things uh, that are probably gonna make the video a little bit better. But um, yeah guys, again, thanks for all the support on those GTI videos and we will see you again real, real soon. Peace. Get like a walkout. <laughs>